Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode of Golden Sun, the Lost Stage Reloaded. And here we are, inside of Ayers Rock. Last episode, we climbed up the huge mountain that is Ayers Rock. But now we're inside. And now we have to explore its huge interior. So, let's just dive right in, because this is going to take a while. Alright, it's already healed up with this Sinji Stone. I don't know if I casted a Void, but I'm obviously going to do it again, because you know I really do, don't want to deal with the monsters in this area. You thought the outside was big, this, the inside is like the biggest place ever, I mean. There's like so much room in this place. Alright. We can't do anything with this yet. And we certainly can't get that chest yet. We have to do other things before we can do that. Basically, we can't do anything in this room yet. So that means there's only one way to go. As you see, there are two doors we can go through, the blue and the red. I think you have to go through the blue first, then the red. But I don't know. We'll just see. You don't have to worry about random encounters here, so... That's one reason to be glad. Alright, so let's see what's behind this red door. Alright. Oh, it's this puzzle. God, oh my god. I hate this puzzle. I really do. Okay, I actually completely forgot how to do this. Um... Yeah. Wait, but I can guess. Uh, I think what we're trying to do is to get over to that other side there. So we need to use pound, like right here, I think. Then we probably need to move this over or something. Is this correct? I don't really know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, wait. Hold up. I gotta do this. Because if, if I don't do this, then... I won't be able to get on the path in the first place. Alright, I think... No. This can't be it. Yeah, we'll we'll just check. Okay, we'll just Okay. Um I'm gonna try this out. I don't know if it'll work or not, but there's only one way to find out. And it worked! I guessed correct. It worked. Only thing is, here's the thing. Will this work? No, it won't work. Because that, you know, that pound pillar is in the way. We need to make a path. Um, what's the thing? Yeah, with that pressed down. So, we were close, but, yeah. Unfortunately, not close enough. So we need to do that and somehow get across. How are we gonna do that, though? I mean, this I can get, but...
Wait. Got an idea. Come on, push that. I'm hoping this works. Yep, it should. I think it's working. There we go. Alright, now that only the the only thing that's left is to go behind that wait. Hold on. I don't think we're done with that thing yet. Actually, no. Yeah, we are done with that thing. I was thinking because there's a sand pit down there. Not sure if you saw it. You can see it right here. But I don't think we have to use that one to do it. You can just do that to get down and go up here. Then you can cast Whirlwind on this. And that's how you get rid of that. The first time I played, this puzzle took me forever to figure out. I just couldn't figure it out. But thankfully, I was able to recall how to finish it. Right, so I see this, and... Now, I believe the only way to move forward is to push this into that slot. Got to reapply a void. Alright, like 5% of the interior of Ayers Rock is done after doing that puzzle. Yay! To think we have to do this three more times throughout the course of the entire game. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Because there's um, elemental rocks for each of the elements. Ayers Rock isn't the only one. This is just the elemental rock for Jupiter. That's air. You can see a summon tablet there, but you can't actually get until the dungeon's over. So, don't worry too much about it right now. Alright. The answer to this one's easy. Just push it away from that blowhole, and then you can go just walk past that. Doesn't look like we can do anything right now over there. Wait. Hold up. I think we can. Yes, we can. Uh, move over there, I guess? Actually, I don't think that's possible. Actually, yes, it is possible. You just do that. Then we can jump across. Okay, so we put that there. Is it there anything over here? Oh, it's just this. Uh, I'll check on what's the other side here first. Oh, Jesus. Um, well, shoot. It's right here, so... Okay, good. This... A uh, pillar might not seem like it does much, but it needs to be in that this specific spot So later on in the dungeon something will happen You'll you'll see what that something is, but Yeah It solves that uh, puzzle at the beginning The only question now is where to go. I 
think I forgot where to go next. Or where the exit is, I mean. Oh, it's that. Duh! It's that bottom thing. I don't know how I forgot that, but. Oh well. What, well, well how, how am I supposed to get past this? I don't see any openings in the rocks. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. There's that over there. But what's over here, I wonder? Oh, just beginning the level. So the actual place is to go down here. Okay, as you see in the main central room, we're down a floor. Yeah, there are a lot of rooms we gotta explore here before it's over. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay. I see this, but... I think you're supposed to do it this way. And knocks that over there. I believe I have to push this down for some reason. No, just shortcut. Alright, but then we need to, at some point, flip the bridge thing back to its original place. Oh yeah, here it is. And now we just go and take that bridge vertically this time. And with that, I think we get out of the room. Yeah. Yeah, this is how it is. Man, this place is so long. I'm getting tired walking around it all the time. I hear you, feel it. Sorry, just had to do my Felix voice there, cause, well, I haven't got a chance to do it this episode, cause there's like no talking in there, Rock, it's just a big dungeon you have to go through. Wait, first let me check if there's anything down there. I guess this is one reason why it took me a long time too, cause I try to, try to, you know, check every possible path, you know? Well, we found an elixir for Jenna. When I get so many coins, oh, probably must have been uh, what's it called? Grinding a lot, and that's how I got so many coins. Still, that's a rather big amount. Well, that just means I'll have a lot of money to spend. Nothing wrong with that, is there? And what do, what do we do with this? This? Uh, huh? Is this how we're supposed to do it? I'll give it a shot. Oh. Wait. Yeah, this is a different room. For some reason, I thought this was the previous room. I don't know why, but... Maybe it's because it has the same bridge thing. Anyway, I guess we'll just do that. 
we jump oh then we hop on that and then take this tightrope across come on avoid you're the only thing keeping me sane here so I don't have to fight all these freaking monsters in here down and level even more reaching the bottom but that isn't the end of this dungeon unfortunately we still got a long way to go here's this cool looking room thankfully The developers were kind enough to put a free Sinji stone here, an unlimited one, that re completely replenishes you. Isn't that nice? I think it certainly is, considering how long this dungeon is. Alright, so now that that's happened, we can do this. Those are some scary sounding totem heads, but uh, I guess they'll help us, just like in the other portion. So just ride that one all the way back to the top. And then, back in this room, you can do this. To activate the totem heads in this room. Now we can move this pillar back there. Oh my god. Uh, that's gonna look tough. Oh wait, no it's not. We can just ride the tornado. Here, right here. There we go, perfect. A vile, pretty darn useful this early in the game, I'd say. Uh, who to give it to is the question, though. Oh yeah, probably you, because you're like, just like Ivan from the previous game. I'd say you're the island, the, the item healer. Know how previous series golden sun reloaded i just had like i gave ivan a bunch of healing items like corns nuts and vials and if mia was ever um incapacitated or couldn't do her job for some reason ivan would be there just to use a couple items and stuff all right we can build chiba back up to that level but we haven't exactly needed to use Shiba's item healing abilities yet, though. Oh, yeah. Here's where, since the totem heads are reactivated, we can take them across. To get here... Which is just at the beginning, I guess. Uh, where was that? Oh, that is the room I'm supposed to go. Maybe I messed up somehow, I don't know. Okay. Don't tell me I was supposed to do that earlier. Eh, come on. Oh wait, no. I haven't even been to this part yet. What am I talking about? <laughs> Alright, I know there's special chests here. But let's see. 
In order to get blown into it, I think I have to stand right here. So I'm gonna have to move you up. Right. Well. Yeah. You see, is that good? Yeah, that's exactly the sp spot. Now, what's in here? Oh, the clarity circlet. Let's see. Good defense. And it boosts wind power too. Who has wind power again? Let me check. That was Sheba, but. Uh. Yeah, I guess it would be good on Sheba. Even though that's not her main class series of an Abadu. Because. Because the fourth party member is a warrior style guy, I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty much 100% sure you know who it is, but in case you don't, I'm not going to say his name. But yeah, the fourth party member is a warrior style, so he can't, oh wrong thing. Uh, he can't exactly equip the clarity circlet, even though I'm planning on giving all the Jupiter Dijin to him. Alright, just ride the wind there. Perfect. You push that in there and... We have to see where it goes next. Well, simple enough puzzle, I guess. What's this gonna do, though? Oh, it's gonna do that. So we can get there. Even though it's been a while, I still think we're only like halfway through. Now this dungeon's long, long, not even the elemental rocks coming up are this long. Well, they still have multiple floors and stuff like that, but they don't take up nearly as much time as this one does. I forget where I'm supposed to go next. Oh, right there. Oh yeah, guess that works. What, you anchor about this taking too long? Don't worry, it's gonna be over soon. Some, for some reason my cat always likes to start meowing right when I hit record. Maybe she likes being on YouTube or something, I don't know. Did that just go like right through me? Uh-huh. Oh, that's on the upper level. I was gonna say. It's going above my head, that's what was happening. Okay, I don't have any idea what to do here. But that's what I'm gonna try to figure out. Is there anything I can do here? Or is this for later? Can I get over there? Uh, yeah, I think I can. Oh, I see, I see, I get it. I get it. Jump across and what's in the chest? 666 coins! Well, that explains why I hate this level, I guess. 
but where it explains why this level is so long, I should say. Cursed, that's why. It's a cursed level, not a cursed piece of equipment, but a cursed level. And that's why it takes so long. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> oh, shoot, hold up. This treasure chest is too easy, I'm suspicious of it. I mean, I know there's another, another, well, another, another mimic in this level, but I'm pretty sure. Well, it's in the interior, but I don't know if this is actually a mimic or not. But well, there's only one way to find out. Let's check the chest. Oh, it's just a vial. No scary mimics or anything. All right, then. I guess the mimic's somewhere else. Well, oh, duh. I was gonna say, well, how are we supposed to move that thing? Yeah, that's how. <laughs> Alright, with him there, he can't do anything to us. Oh, freebie room. Thank you, developers, for not making us go through another puzzle there. Well, I don't see anything else we can do, so we're just going to have to ride the wind over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. And what are we to do over here? I don't know. Ooh, oh my god, are we almost done? Yes, we're finished! Let's go! Anyway, ooh, ominous room here. Well, ooh, huh, what's this? It has strange characters written on it. Wielder of Wind's Might, lay your hands upon this stone. We bestow upon thee the power to see the truth unclouded. Do you think I ought to touch it? Here, I'm just going to touch this right here. It seems I learned Reveal. Yep, Sheba learns Reveal here. Pretty nice. We had to go through all that for Reveal, but Reveal is going to be extremely useful. Just as it was in the last game. We do that, and... I guarantee you there was a mimic here. There was a mimic somewhere. I don't know where, but there was a mimic somewhere. Synergy Crystal, that's nice. We don't get enough of those in this game. But, I swear there was a mimic on the inside. Either I'm missing a chest, but... I don't want to miss that mimic, because, like, what if it has something... What if it drops something pretty darn useful? If that's the case, then I certainly can't miss such an amazing gift, can I? Well, if we can't find it this episode, we'll certainly find it next episode. But we haven't explored everywhere in this place yet. Once you have revealed, you can just, like, leave this place if you want, because that's, that's the end of the dungeon. It's a lot longer than I made it seem, because I just, like, you know, spammed avoid the whole way. If you don't want to lose your sanity, that's the best way to do this dungeon, just spam avoid all the time. 
anyway, there's still the question of... Hold up. There's still the question of... You know, getting that summon tablet. Oh yeah, might as well do this. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I could have just pressed R. Oh well. Man, I can't wait to get back out of here. But we have to get that summon tablet. And that mimic. Not in this room, obviously. Uh, I think it's actually in one of the red rooms. Actually, it is. It's guaranteed to be here. Looks like on the second floor or something. I don't know. We don't have to solve the puzzle again because we did that, thankfully. But yeah, here it is. Uh, yeah, see that thing right there? That pillar. Come on, let's get back so we can do that. I'm going to have to look up where that mimic is. Or what it drops. Because I don't know at this point. I'm pretty sure you have to be there. So, yeah. There's no way you're not going to be there. Thanks to that, the totems being activated, we can do that. Cast whirlwinds here. Bam, that's how we get the summon tablet. Now we just push this down, jump over. There it is. Whoa. Gotta cast the void again. This is a stone tablet. Looks like I can now summon Flora. To summon Flora, I need two Jupiter Dijin and one Venus Dijini to be on standby. And then I just use them to summon. Alright, since we got Flora, that's all basically it for the this dungeon's collectibles. Yes! We're done! Except for that mimic. I need to go check on that right quick. Well, I looked it up, and although the walkthrough I do does mention a mimic, there's no mention of that mimic anywhere else, so it's probably just a mistake. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it. Now we can get the heck out of here. Thankfully. Oh wait, I accidentally casted the void instead. Oh well. We just retreat. To get out of here. Oh wait. <laughs> retreat again. Oh wait, I could have just walked outside. Duh. Oh my god. Well, we're just gonna take that. Gonna cast retreat again. And leave. But before we. Before we're done, let's give Shiba her Dijin back. Huh? Oh, this. That's how it's supposed to be. 
Alright, but first, let's show off Flora while we, you know, get back to the next place we need to go. Garo. Garo? Garo? I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's right there. Come on, come on. Get rid of the avoid so I can encounter another enemy. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I'm just going to fast forward when I get to an enemy. Or enemies. Because here we are. No? Must have done it wrong. What the? What? Huh? What the? What? What? Hold up. I can pretty much guarantee I got Flora. You guys saw that I got Flora, right? Uh... I'll check it out on my own time. Anyway, on the next episode of Golden Sun Lost Stage Reloaded, we will continue on in Garo, so I'll see you then.